what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? President Barack Obama and wannabe Donald Trump, your president, once sat together in the Oval Office. It was November 2016. The dotard had just won the election, or should I say, stole the election. What the two dudes talked about that day remains unknown. But one thing that is clear is, after three and a half years, Obama remains something of an obsession for Trump the subject of political and personal inferiority complex. Now, one may say, what is causing Trump to keep Obama's name in his mouth so frequently? Why does he always talk about Obama? Obama, 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 Obama. Obama. That's all he talks about. He talks about Barack Obama more than he talks about the economy, more than he talks about unemployment, more than he talks about health care, more than he talks about immigration, more than he talks about Melania. Oh yeah, he loves having Obama in his mouth. Why is that? Observers point to a mix of anti-intellectualism, racism, could it be vengeance, and primitive envy over everything from Obama's Nobel Peace Prize to the scale of his inauguration crowd and social media following. Yeah, Trump loves numbers and he loves hearing about himself. Everything is a competition, except making America great and competitive. Yeah, that's where he drops the ball. Why do he talk about Obama so frequently? Imagine this, if you will. A woman is in a relationship with a guy. And every time there's any type of conversation, good or bad, he keeps bringing up the old boyfriend. They're sitting at dinner. This is the anniversary. Candlelight. A nice restaurant. Five star. The mood is set. Great music. Oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. And they're sitting there, she's in a great mood. And this fool belts out, hmm, I bet your old boyfriend never brought you to a place this fancy. You dig what I'm saying? What a mood killer. Always bringing up the old boyfriend. I would be trying to help her forget. If I'm the president of a country, the last thing I want the people thinking of is the old guy. It's my turn. I'm running the show. I need you guys to listen to what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I don't want you thinking about this other guy. In fact, the more I do, the greater I am, the more this other guy fades to black. And if you do think about him, you're thinking about him on your own because you're thinking about how great I am, how much greater I am. Donald Trump has a deep found love for Obama. I really do believe he'll get on his knees. 
Oh yeah, I believe it. He looks at Obama and men, you know what I'm talking about. You know how it is when you look at a woman and you get that little feeling. When you really get excited, when it's about to go down, you get a little twitch. I bet you anything that's what happens when Trump looks at Obama. But Obama is the chick he can't have. Or should I say, the man he can't have. You know how it is when you, when elementary and you know, you, you didn't really know how to express yourself when a girl, when you liked a girl. And so you might uh, treat a mean because you know how to express yourself. That's Trump. That's how he feels about Obama. I'm telling you, man, this dude is obsessed with Obama. So now he's running around calling this thing Obama Gate, saying that Obama is trying to frame him for colluding with Russia to fix the US presidential election. He goes out and tries to fix the US presidential election, colludes actually with a foreign government to fix the election and then try to punish the other guy. I'll leave you with what Ben Rhodes, Obama's former national security aide tweeted this week. Trump's fact-free fixation on Obama dating back to birtherism is so absurd and stupid that it would be comic if it wasn't so tragic. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.